Praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song in his praise in the congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with the chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 149. On October 6, 2023, the weekend long outdoor trance music festival called Supernova Sukkot Gathering began in the western Negev Desert, approximately three miles from the Gaza Israel border near Kibbutz Rim. On October 7th, at dawn, around 6.30 a.m., Hamas terrorists entered Israel from the Gaza Strip and attacked civilians at the festival. 260 people were killed and several others were wounded. Hamas launched a surprise assault on Israel on Saturday, its biggest in years. Gunmen from the Palestinian Islamist movement crossed from Gaza into Israeli towns in an unprecedented infiltration. Hamas also fired a heavy barrage of rockets into Israel. We are at war, said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and the enemy will pay an unprecedented price. More horrifying scenes from the terror attack on Israel are emerging today. It's being called Israel's 9-11. I spoke to CBS reporter Hilia in Tel Aviv. What's really different about this attack is how many people have been killed, how it came by total surprise, and how devastated everyone that I speak to is about it. When we take a deeper look at this event, it becomes obvious that this was another satanic ritual, blood sacrifice, meant to exalt the devil and his antichrist. Let's take a look. Reports claimed this attack was Israel's 9-11. More horrifying scenes from the terror attack on Israel are emerging today. It's being called Israel's 9-11. We know that 9-11 is a reference to Revelation 9-11 the opening of the bottomless pit and the rise of the king of the pit. We also know that Obama declared himself to be God on 9-11, connecting himself with the king of the bottomless pit. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Notice this news clip from CNN reported that 500 Israelis had been killed, including 44 IDF members as well. Thousands have been injured in this attack. As we know now, there are 500 deaths on the part of the Israelis. 44 of those, as we understand it, are IDF um, soldiers. Strong's concordance lists G500 as Antichristos, which means Antichrist the adversary of Messiah, a most pestilent being, an individual man of the worst character, instigated by the devil to try and palm himself off as God. Be still and know that I am God. The number 44 points to Obama as that antichrist. Americans know that Israel and the United States share common values, that we defend common interests, that we face common enemies. Iran's leaders know that too. 
You know, for them, you're the great Satan. You're the great Satan. We're the little Satan. For them, we are you, and you are us. And you know something, Mr. President? At least on this last point, I think they're right. I think they're right. This music festival was steeped in New Age pagan worship and Jewish mysticism. Notice the meditating Buddha statue in this video, which was recorded just before the attacks. The name of the event where this sacrifice for the devil and his antichrist took place was the Tribe of Nova Supernova Trance Music Festival. Notice the use of the Kabbalistic Tree of Life in the middle of the poster as well as the Seed of Life. The Tree of Life or Seed of Life are part of the occult teachings of the Lima which was founded by Aleister Crowley and Jewish mysticism or Kabbalah. Alistair Crowley's Libra 777 actually refers to the lightning bolt or Barak descending the tree of life which represents the spirit and power of Lucifer falling from heaven and indwelling the physical human body of the son of perdition, the Antichrist.